What's up guys? Today we are watching episode 3 of Ozark. So, last episode, Marty moved him and his family out to the Ozarks, and he left Wendy in charge of finding them a place to live, and she successfully did that, but you know, they kind of have a roommate for a year, which I think is kind of hilarious, and Marty doesn't even know that yet, so I'm ready to see how he's going to react to that. But while they were out there, Marty was also trying to find, like, business people to try and, like, work up with but he hasn't been really successful in that department so maybe in this episode he'll find someone to like partner up with I don't know we'll see but by the end of the episode Wendy told the kids that their father launders money for a freaking drug cartel and I was just so confused because it's like I didn't think that they would find out that early on like who's gonna tell them that that early on but I guess she is, so I'm gonna see how they're gonna react to that and like how they're gonna talk to Marty and everything now. So I guess let's get into the episode. Four, sir. Yeah. We weren't contracted to move anyone right. else's furniture contracted. out of the house. In the history of moving, have you ever been contracted to drop someone's shit on the front yard? Marty. Work with me. Has he even met the other dude yet? I'm guessing he kind of has, but I was kind of, I wanted to see that. Why should I calm down? Because you're going to scare the kids. Well, at least I didn't tell them that their father launders money for a drug cartel. Okay, you want to get oh, into this right, right here, right Marty? now? I would kind of be pissed about it. Like, why wouldn't you discuss that first? Let's go. They see their roomie, and I'm guessing Marty's okay with it. <laughs> Important. What do you say when somebody asks you what you're doing here? We bought a resort called the Blue Cat. That's exactly right. We bought a resort called the Blue Cat, and while I'm there today doing my job, your job is... Oh, so he actually bought the place. I, I didn't know that he would actually do that yet. Because you're too smart for bullshit. Please don't pander. I'm not pandering. You both have a right to know why your lives were uprooted, and the more you know, the safer you'll be. Is it? That usually seems like the opposite. Like, the less you know, the safer you'll be. Like... That you are laundering the- Who the hell's washing the family? Is it Ruth? Would it still be her? Buddy's Carl back. Do either of you want anything? Yeah. Maybe you could pick up some pistachio ice cream. Organic, please. Who the hell likes pistachio ice cream? Like, that sounds disgusting. Oh, that might be the FBI people. So it's it's not Ruth, but there she is. And if Daddy were here, he would have hung you out by your ball sack already. You want me to tell him that you're disrespecting me? Okay, I might be starting to like her a little bit. Brought him up. Well, fuck that. Hello. We gotta feel bad about what he did. Don't start with that again. I'm just saying. I know, I know. What did he do? What do we have that no other place does? Uh, an investor that knows absolutely nothing about the Ozarks. We raise our price 10 cents while still keeping the burger deal. Sunday, we start the cycle all over again control the market you win i win they win he kind of seems like he knows what he's doing i mean he seems to have somewhat of a plan lectures that might be the trick burger's really five dollars with a fill up yes sir his plan's already working out Was that the dude who was following them earlier? I think it might be. Mm -hmm. 
Never mind, that's not the dude that was following him earlier. Hey, Tuck, there are other songs in there, pal. Please, different number, different letter. You owe me a job. I didn't expect her to, like, to see her again this early, like, with him. I mean, if I were in your shoes, I'd sure as shit rather have someone like me nearby instead of running my mouth to every Tom, Dick, and Harry about the eight million cash you're swimming in. How many people are gonna know that this, like, what this man is doing? Because now his kids know, and then, like, a good bit of that family people know, so it's like... Me. He's gonna give you a job. Okay, good. Good what? You, Ruth Langmore, just committed an overt act. Well, what the fuck's that? You see this camera? Oh, oh. Oh, God. Why did you just do that? The fact that you just made that deposit for me, the feds consider that an overt act. It makes you an accomplice. Simply put, if I ever go to prison, so do you. He's working smarter, like. Fucking kill myself. There's usually barely anything good on the radio, so I feel you stops right now is that understood i don't want you to go easy on her why are you defending her i'm sure you could tell us stuff i mean bad things she's done that would poison us on her he also doesn't seem the type to do that though point where i'd undermine the boss or suck the air out of the room well thank you yeah. <laughs> could you start this weekend uh could you excuse me for a moment please oh no she's gonna go confront them Three. Pop sharp right now. Hey! <laughs> As you should, they got you like arrested in a way because of that, so. Did I just see what I think I saw? Yep. Good shot. So she's not gonna go back to the interview? Okay. You sure? You know, if, if you do, you can just ask. Yeah? Okay. I like how he's being chill about it and, like, not trying to hide everything from them now, since, especially now that they know. Why is he looking at that kind of shit? What's up, lady? What fuck happened to you? Nothing. Chick beat his ass. <laughs> no, Boyd. Oh, I don't advocate you in the Somebody woman. needs to toughen him up. Come on, get up. Hit me. No, step right up, here. boy. Come on, hit me in the face. This is like, what's that uh, movie? Fuck, Robert De Niro and the uh, Raging Bull. Yeah, Raging Bull. That's it. Come on. Hey, fuck you, man. All right, man. Chill out. We're cool. At least he advocated for not hitting a girl. Like a vacation, Florida or some shit like that? Sure. Yeah. Or for good. Maybe. Oh, so he's trying to get out of there. I didn't expect that, I mean... Right now, but not you, Marty. Not you. I don't trust you'll care for these animals. In fact, if you adopt them, they'll die. Um, that's not something you would think you would envision on a TV. Well, I know how this got here. Maybe coyotes, huh? Mm -mm. Someone would have had to drag it and then leave it. We'll see if the old man's got a wheelbarrow. Who would do that though? Who would drag it there just to leave it? Are they have to confront him now about like everything? They're gonna know he's like, 
He's gonna know that he, they're on to him, though. Our records indicate he called you that night at uh, 11.47 p.m.? Yeah, that sounds right. right. Yeah, could be. You spoke for a minute. Right before he went to, like, the thingy and then they all got killed besides Marty. I, you know, I thought that, that he was maybe doing something illegal. I don't know. That's a different kind of spin on it. I mean... Those are Dad's co-workers. Just stick with porn. Seriously? How would he even find those kind of videos? I think the two of you should know that Bruce was working with us as an informant against them. What? I thought they were gonna... Wait, are they tripping? Like, was he actually an informant? These people are murderers. They skin people alive. Or they, they hang them from bridges. Maybe he thought he was gonna get away with it. Like, get away with stealing that money from Dell because he was gonna get, like, arrested or whatever. I don't know. Keep you safe. We had an opportunity. That was their way out, and they're just gonna keep going with being in the cartel. Working? What's it look like? I didn't hire you. Take it up with Marty. Does she know her or something? I don't hire criminals. Well, all I've seen is a hard worker. 2009. So she knows about her. How can I help you? Don't tell me you don't recognize me. You were all up in my titty bar. All full of ideas on how I should go about my business. Um, I forgot about him. I didn't recognize him at first either. That you had organic pistachio ice cream. Okay. Yeah, so now that I'm here, all, all I see is mint. Please tell me you have some in the back. She's she's kind of seeming like a Karen right now, and I don't want to call Wendy a Karen, but... Because my ex-boyfriend, the only black man in a suit with a badge for 50 miles is what he's too insecure to eat breakfast by himself. I didn't know you guys were boyfriends. Me, I don't seem in a good place too much, besides like working together. Wendy? Unless you have something nice to say, I don't want to hear it. I've had a shit day. What was shitty about it? Ice cream, Marty. No pistachio ice cream. doing so near our house so they stole another boat they're trying to intimidate us dead animals pop up oh so that could have been them but i mean that's not intimidating anyways like for me and she's pretty territorial so I Loki thought he was sleeping with his eyes open and snoring and I was like, that's kind of weird. This an animal who's suffering and needs your help. You can help rescue her, help her get medicine, shelter. He's like, not that commercial again.
He for real went out that far to get the boat and to go on the water. That like early or late at night or in the morning, you know? Why? This man has not slept yet. Watch him fall asleep right there. I would never be able to do that. Didn't fall asleep. That in any situation, he would be there to help build it back up. He said, he said small beginnings can bring down mountains. Was that church on a boat? What's that? When I was aspirating along. Wasn't that you creaking around upstairs? Not checking on me? Oh, I was about to be like, how the hell did you know he was checking on you? Oh, Sam, hi. Um, hey. This is Sam, who's the actual listing agent, and they just popped in while I was setting up. That's great. Hey, um, can I talk to you for just a second? She was trying to show him how, like, competent she is of, like, doing that stuff, but... I know how to sell the idea of a happy family. Mom's gonna be pissed. Uh, the kitchen is, is right about- It's working in her favor though, so I mean that's something and that's more income, I guess. <laughs> Got caught by Tuck. You ever listen to old school hip hop? Tupac? Easy? Shit like that? No. But I will start. They all want him to change the song. Don't get my hopes up. I feel bad that she's kind of like that, but then I get it. I mean, she's again trying not to get fucked over. What? Well, it's a it's a fixer upper, that's for sure. Oh, the kids are great. Yeah, yeah, they're great. There's a huge, huge lake here, so you know what what's not to like. Finally, get the pistachio ice cream and more vultures. You pissed Wendy off. I'm kind of ready to see her go off. But then again, like, what if it's not them? Either of you, you fuck with my daughter, you come near my house again, it'll be you the vultures are picking at. Period, Wendy. Okay. I see you. It's melted. Well, it'll be in the freezer when you want. Charlotte kind of seems like too much of a complainer in a way. But then again, she kind of has a right to complain. But, you know, it's got to stop at some point. Well, if you couldn't fake. What is that? Is that Bob Seeker? It is. Do you even like Bob Seeker? Uh oh. <laughs> oh god, that song just won't go away for him. Were you hoping to see something, Marty? I mean, guess you're at that, you're at that dude's titty bar. Okay. I want you to tell me about your boss. So that, that's like the only reason he went there, like, not for anything else. Well, the wild number of overdoses in this country blows up 
Like a fucking pinata. I did not realize he had someone in there. You got issues, dude. So I've been told. Um, okay then. Motherfuckers. Did they steal her money? That's definitely something they needed. He's finally gonna get some sleep that he needs. What the fuck is that? I low-key thought she was pointing it at the other dude, Marty. They're all over this area. Make a hundred times what we spent with the cats. That was still her money, though. Like, it was fucked up that y'all still used it like that. Damn it, boy. I told you three times to check the undercarriages. So they were punked. My god. You know you've been working for that bird, dude. Boy, so? quit while you're behind How are you going to get his money working for minimum wage? Or wait, were they just both females? I'm going to take the money and kill him. I don't know if I like you anymore now then. I was just starting to like you, bro. You just gonna leave us in here? Looks like that. Fucking idiot. Fuck no you. fucking picture this. I'm a bag of My God. I expect I didn't expect that she was gonna make them stay in there the night, but it's like they are idiots. Literally, they stole her money just to buy that. And I, in the moment, I really get, just couldn't tell. Like, did they actually get paid off or are they actually just like two females? So they only have two to sell. Like, they can't make them reproduce and make more, you know? But like, I didn't expect that she was actually just going to use Marty to learn how to launder money like he does and basically in a way take over his place since she plan plans on killing him but it's like you can't you can't guess with ruth ruth is just she does unexpected things but at least marty this episode is now getting the sleep that he needs because he's been up the whole episode with like barely any sleep doing too much Seems like he was visualizing shit. Sleep deprivation. He needed that sleep. But I mean, now it looks like everything's starting to get better between like him and his family. So they seem less as mad that they were whenever they just moved there since now everything's explained in a way. But I do feel bad still because he seems to still have a lot of weight on his shoulders with everything. But Wendy did kind of like get a job, so I guess that's another income to like come in, you know? And then Charlotte tried to get a job, but then she left the freaking interview because she went to go punch the dudes in the face. Maybe she'll find another place to get an interview, but it's like, it was still kind of funny that she punched the other dude, so I don't blame her. But with all that, she's still, what's her name? Ruth is still gonna be like, trying to dig her way in with Marty so she can take over his place. So I guess maybe in the next episode she might, well, I don't even know what she's gonna do. It's hard to expect with her, but uh, she's just gonna like infiltrate more, I guess. So I guess come back for episode four. <laughs>